Marin is one of fewer than 100 people in the country with GSD type 3. So it's not something that people are familiar with. And it's also something that you can't tell by looking at her. She looks like a very healthy, normal child. You wouldn't know that you know, she takes cornstarch through her G-tube around the clock. Type 3 glycogen storage disease is a, is a rare disorder of one in a million people. And it's, it's a disorder where sugar gets into the liver and gets into the muscles but can't be used. Do you want this one or the monkey? She was diagnosed around 10 months old um, and we were really fortunate that she happened to be in the ER for a flu virus and the ER doctor picked up on her enlarged liver and that led to testing and blood work and an eventual diagnosis. Her body doesn't store energy properly so she's at risk of hypoglycemia pretty much any time that her body isn't getting some sort of energy source. And the only treatment they have right now is cornstarch therapy, so she has to ingest cornstarch around the clock as an energy source. So for us, we get up in the middle of the night, every night of the year, and she takes her cornstarch every day, whether it's a home day or a school day, a play date. Is Miss Emma taking your blood again? Since starting to see him, it's been amazing. I mean, he is just the expert. He knows everything, and he really is available to us 24-7. Research is really progressing. Since uh, moving to Connecticut Children's Medical Center and, and UConn, we've been able to uh, bring gene therapy to another form of GSD, and we are working on that for glycogen storage disease type 3. We're also working with some companies to bring enzyme replacements, so the future is very bright. We just have to get the research done.